one-to-one -one functions. You should be familiar with functions, function notation, and graphs of functions. You should also be familiar with inverse functions. In this lesson, we will define what it means for a function to be one-to-one. -one. Often, we are asked to undo a process. For example, subtraction undoes addition. This is the concept of an inverse function. Occasionally, there is some difficulty in defining the reverse process. For example, for the function g of x equal to x squared, when we input 2, we get the output 4. When we input negative 2, we also get the output 4. When we try to reverse this operation with the square root, we are not sure whether we should pick 2 or negative 2 to associate with 4. The problem is that there were two inputs corresponding to the output 4. We avoid this problem with functions that have a special property, where each output corresponds to only one input, called one-to-one -one functions. A one-to-one -one function has just one input for each output. This allows us to define the inverse function. If each y output of the original function corresponds to only one x input, then each y input to the inverse function will correspond to a single x output. The test to see if a function is one-to-one -one is called the horizontal line test. If a vertical line crosses the graph more than once, the graph is not a function since a single x input is associated with more than one output. If a horizontal line crosses the graph more than once, the graph is not one-to-one, -one, since a single y output is associated with more than one input. A line with positive slope is one-to-one, -one, since each y output will intersect the line exactly once. y equals x squared is not one-to-one, -one, since the y output of 4 corresponds to both the x values 2 and negative 2. Any continuous one-to-one -one function will either be strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. Once a function begins to go up, it can't turn around and go down and still be one-to-one. -one. The exponential function is increasing. The larger the exponent, the larger the value. The exponential function is one-to-one. -one. Its inverse is called the logarithm function. The function f of x equals sine of x is not one-to-one. -one. For each y value, there are many angles x associated with it. To recap, if any horizontal line crosses the graph more than once, a function is not one-to-one, -one, and we will have a problem finding an inverse function. If each horizontal line crosses a graph only once, then the function is a one-to-one -one function.